Hey everyone, it's DSP here and I wanted to answer some of your questions, some really good questions you've actually had over the past couple of weeks uh, regarding what I'm going to be doing with the channel, uh, you know, in the future. Uh, the immediate question that I've been getting a lot is, well, I've got almost a full week, actually more than a full week now until Uncharted 2 comes out and what am I going to be playing? Well, what I've decided to do is rather than try to bombard everyone with more playthroughs of games that I hadn't announced or maybe wasn't really involved with, I'm going to take it easy for about a week and I think I'm, I'm going to try to work on at least one new Hateful Truth video, if not more than one. What game it's going to be on, I'm not sure, just simply because I've beaten so many games recently, you know, Mar Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, um, some of the games that I've been playing for a very long time and I just recently completed, like Fallout 3, you know, beating all the optional missions and also Left 4 Dead with the DLC that just came out. Uh, games like Wet, I mean, there's just so much that I can work on right now, I haven't really decided yet. Oh, uh, Halo ODST also is a possibility to throw out there. Um, but I will be doing something over the next week and keep in mind that they take a while to make and the reason they take a while to make is I have to videotape everything and then there's a lot of editing and work in the background that I don't really have to do with my regular playthroughs so that's why it takes a little bit longer for those Hateful Truth videos to come out so expect to see that at least in the next week uh, also a lot of people have been saying you know what games are you looking to play by the end of the year because there are other titles that have been coming out uh, are being announced. You know, I heard there's Saw coming out this week or something like that. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm not going to try to stick in a hundred games that, you know, aren't on my events list on the side of my channel, the left-hand side of my channel, by the way. I try to list all the games that I'm going to play for sure in that area. Uh, but I can tell you the next definite game is Uncharted 2, both the single-player campaign and multiplayer. I'm also going to try to squeeze in Brutal Legend. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. It's not a definite, but I am interested in that game after playing the demo. And then the only other game I think in October is Borderlands, which is, I believe, two weeks after the release of those games. And then, of course, November is going to be jam-packed. We're going to have Modern Warfare 2, which is going to be insane. I'm actually going to try to be the first person to have any Modern Warfare 2 campaign gameplay on YouTube. Now, I know it's probably not going to be possible. You know someone's going to download the game a week ahead of time, steal it. Well, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get the game if there's a Midnight Madness or whatever at my local store. I'm going to try to get the game and then come home and actually just play through it because I love Modern Warfare 1, thought it was one of the best games I've ever played, and I'm really looking forward to Modern Warfare 2. And then once I finish the campaign, I'm going to jump online and play a lot of multiplayer. The reason I'm not doing that immediately after I buy the game is because on launch day, it's infamous that you know Xbox Live is horrible. It's just so many people jumping on to play that the experience sucks. And I don't want that to come across as what the game is going to be like because the same exact thing happened with Modern Warfare 1, but after about a week when the servers leveled out, the game was amazing. So that's what I plan to do there. Uh, and then two weeks after the release of Modern Warfare 2, I believe we have Left 4 Dead 2, and we also have Assassin's Creed 2. I'm going to be playing both of those. Um, and then I think in December, I might take a big break and when I say that I mean you might not see much gameplay from me but December is going to be basically the top 10 month. It's going to be recaps of my top 10 best games of the year, top 10 worst gaming moments of the year just like I did last year. I also want to do like a compilation video of top 10 funniest moments because just because it was funny doesn't necessarily mean it was one of the best games of the year but there might have been something you know worth taking another look at in one of the games that I, I actually uh, did a playthrough for in 2009 and then finally I have a special idea Now I don't know if it's going to come to fruition by the end of the year but I really hope it is by Christmas I want to do something a little bit cool for you guys but we'll see how that turns out uh, the other thing that I want to address to let everyone know is that for the very first time I am going to have a, a contest on my channel so without further ado let me announce It's going to be DSP's Hateful Truth Introduction Music Contest. And what I mean by that is what I really want to do is have a really good intro for my Hateful Truth videos. As you see, the first one I made really had no intro. The last one I made, I tried to do something really quick, throw it together with my video editor with like videos flying around. And I, you know, I had a song of one of my, uh, one of my favorite songs from that band, Ra. Uh, do you call my name? I just threw it in as like a little intro thing, but it's not a real full intro. I mean, you go ahead and watch some of what these other professionals are doing right now, and uh, you know, doing really good reviews and video blogs and things like that. They have this official professional-looking intro with a really good song. 
Now, to enter the contest, you do not have to do a whole intro. I'm all I'm really looking for is like an intro theme to The Hateful Truth. And it could be with lyrics, it could just be instrumental, it could be whatever you want it to be. But what I'd like you to do is if you could send me, I'd probably say, let's do a private message on YouTube and say, you know, let's say it should say Hateful Truth Intro Contest. That should be your subject line for the message. And then link me to the song that you've created and I will basically take a look at all the footage and things and the songs that come in. And obviously if you make a video intro with music as well, that's a plus. And it's obviously going to get you ahead of the game in this contest. But uh, I want to basically say within a month, so we'll say today's October 4th. By November 4th, I'm going to tally up. I'm going to see what exactly I've got for entries for this uh, intro contest. And then what I'm going to do is pick a winner if there's someone that I think is good enough to win. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not... Oh, definitely saying someone's going to win this contest because I want my videos to be of a very good quality. I don't want to just pick someone. But you know what? I've seen a lot of people with talent out there. I think there's a lot of people who like to mess around, a lot of musicians or up-and-coming artists who might want to get their music out there by doing something like this. And to be able to have that be viewed and heard by thousands of people that watch my videos, it's going to be a benefit to you. And don't get me wrong, I'm definitely going to mention whoever wins their name, any of their contact info, if they have a website or any way they want to get their name out there, that's going to happen. Uh, but as for prizes, uh, it's going to be something, I don't know, I'm kind of looking around, it might be just something random. Uh, I might do like a video tour, I might do something, but you're going to get something physically, whether it's like something I sign from my place and I just send it to you or whatever, we'll figure it out. But it'll definitely be, be a good prize and we'll make a video of it too so that you'll kind of get your name out there. So that is it. Um, I just wanted to get that out there. That contest, like I said, starts today, so we'll say 30 days. You know, by November 4th, I'll tally up the entries and I'll start to actually look at them. And by the end of the year, I will be announcing a winner. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be using the video and or you know, music for my Hateful Truth review videos for the, the beginnings. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's going to be a busy fourth quarter this year, but I think we're going to have a lot of fun, and uh, I hope to see you around.